Hey guys, uh, what's up? Welcome back to Bad Toy Reviews. I am Steven, um, of course. Uh, so I'm 41 years old and I am very much like born in 1980. I am a child of the 80s. I grew up watching He-Man, uh, real Ghostbusters, Transformers, eh, not a lot, uh, Voltron, we watched Voltron, Galaxy Rangers, Brave Star, wasn't really a Thundercats guy, um, He-Man, loved He-Man, uh, I had so many He-Man toys, um, had He-Man, had Prince Adam, Skeletor, Man-at-Arms, uh, my little brother, really loved She-Ra, <laughs> um, had, you know, Battle Cat, Panthor, um, one of my absolute favorite figures as a kid and my younger brother and I talk about this whenever we're feeling nostalgic or we see something that reminds us um, Stinkor which was like one of Skeletor's evil henchmen he was a skunk basically wearing some sort of armor but he smelled like a skunk to this day if I'm driving and you know I smell a skunk where I don't know where you live, but where I live, there's, it's, I wouldn't call it really rural, but it's not a big city, you know? So there's a lot of woods around and I, I live on a dirt road. So there's wooded areas right down the road from me. But from time to time, if a, if you've ever been near where a skunk has sprayed, you know, you've been near where a skunk has sprayed. Um, it's, it's very evident. And whenever I smell that, it immediately takes me back to being a kid and that skunk or figure. Um, all the figures I had when I was a kid, there was one thing I did not. And that was this. 41 years it took me to get this. But right now, like I hope it weaves its way through the space-time continuum and my seven-year-old self knows that I finally got it. But we are going to open this on camera. It's a little wet because it was raining outside, but we're gonna open this on camera and we're gonna put it together. Um, the box art is so cool. Where it's got He-Man and Skeletor fighting down there and, you know, Tila and Evelyn and Trapjaw and Beastman. And it's, it's just so, so cool. Uh, the back side of it, has the actual figures from the new Mattel Masters of the Universe Origins line. Um, I have a lot of these. Let's see. Uh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it, got it. So, of all the figures on the back of the box, I'm only missing two. Manny Faces, which I have no connection to, so not a completionist, didn't care about getting it, left it for somebody else. And Scare Glow, same thing. I have no connection to it at all. Um, didn't feel the need to take it from someone else that may have. So left those there for my fellow collectors, but very excited to open this guy up. I have no idea where I'm gonna display it once it's open, but uh, here's a video that's been over three decades in the making. I'm very excited about this. So let's move over to the table and we'll get this opened up. Uh, when you get Grayskull out of the box, as you see, it does not come fully assembled. Um, there are gonna be several little baggies with pieces in them, a few loose pieces, we have thrown. We have the sorceress herself with instructions and stickers. So, in my current setup for making these videos, I have no way of putting the camera anywhere so that you guys can see this. So, if you just give me one moment, I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back when it is put together. 
All right, guys, here it is all put together with the stickers applied. And we've even thrown some figures in there. Just to let you know, it is not hard at all to put together. Uh, you'll see the two weapon racks here. Uh, this is Man-at-Arms Mace. It did not come with this set, but this, this Eagle weapon rack did. Um, this weapon rack here has these little pieces on it. These pieces did come with the set. You have a blaster here, an axe weapon. You have a sword and a mace. You've got the elevator with Tila on it. That leads up to the computer system. <laughs> Uh, there's a banner here that hangs down that you can't really see. Let me move the ladder. Uh, you see the banner here. It's a soft fabric banner. Uh, you see here where the, the ladder seats into the floor and then just leans right up here where the sorceress is sitting. The flag, there's a sticker here on the flag on that side as well as the other side there. I can't get it. Ugh, all right, it's just stuck there. You'll see it in a second. Uh, you see Man-at-Arms here on the cannon. We'll see. We'll get a better look at him in a minute. Uh, here's another banner hanging from this platform. Uh, in the throne right now, you've got He-Man. And there's Trapjaw. And what's Trapjaw standing on? The trap door. Ah, he's gone. That's so awesome. Uh, let's see if I can reset the trap door here, sorry about that. And there's another little computer piece. Uh, here's trap jaw on the inside of the castle and you know, cool little prison type place with all the little monsters and whatnot in there. The stickers in this set are gonna be this one. That's a sticker. There is a sticker on the inside of the throne there. A sticker at the top of the computer there, a sticker at the top of the computer there, and then stickers on either side of that flag that we will see here in just a moment because I'm getting ready to close this. Oh, we didn't see Tila go up the elevator, so let's just come back and there she goes up the elevator and now she's on the next level and you can let go of the string and the platform, well, it tried to stay. It does have a little tab on it, but you know, it's only gonna do so much. Uh, I think if you wanted the platform to stay, you could pull it up and, you know, just give it the old wrap around here. Maybe if we wrap that, like a grappling hook. So there's Tila up there. Now I'm gonna set the camera down while I close this. Okay, and here it is closed. You see the sorceress can still stay up there. There's the other side of the flag. There's the cannon turret. Uh, a figure cannot stay in there when Grayskull is closed. You see one clasp and two clasps to hold it closed. Uh, here is the, tr is the drawbridge. Before we get a look at that, we're gonna take a look at the back of this guy, which is also very, very cool. There's a, a stone door here, but it does not open. Um, you see a carry handle here. So let's, let's just turn this guy back around. Now, it says to use the power sword to open the door. So here's the power sword and we'll push that and the trap door comes open. You see there. Now, um, if you have seen my video on the power sword there, you will know that I am not a fan of the two part power sword. Never have been, not even as a kid. So I 3D printed my own power sword, which coincidentally also, we'll unlock the, the drawbridge there. This set, let me back up a little bit, get the whole thing in frame here. There we go. 
I can't I can't say you know enough how cool this set is and how overjoyed I am to finally have it took me 41 years but I finally got one such a cool display piece and when I get my shop set up the way I want it it will be displayed with all of these wonderful Masters of the Universe figures. Oh, I forgot about this guy. It also came with this guy, which is some sort of battering ram. You can either use the hog side or there's a fist right there. So, uh, yeah. So, comes with a battering ram as well. But I'm so stoked by this piece. Very happy to finally have it. Thank you so much, Mattel, for releasing this. Uh, I posted on my Bad Toy Reviews Twitter the day I got this. Uh, the post said, you know, something like, it took me 41 years, but I finally got Castle Grayskull. Thank you, Mattel, for making my seven-year-old self's dreams come true. And Mattel actually replied to the tweet, which was pretty cool. But I'm very happy to have this. Uh, it is kind of a dream come true for me. So thanks again, Mattel. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, if you have not done so yet, please go over to the Ursa Major Build-A-Figure video where I talk about the giveaway that I'm doing to celebrate hitting 500 subscribers. The giveaway, the time to enter ends on, well, the drawing's gonna be done on July 10th, I believe I said. So you'll have to enter before then. To enter the drawing, all you've gotta do is be subscribed to the channel, leave a comment in that video. Uh, you comment on what figure you like, on what figures you're excited for, on, comment on what you wanna see from the channel. Uh, you just have to comment on that video because that is where I will be pulling the winner from. And the winner will be pulled using a comment, like a random comment picker somewhere on the internet. So that will be coming about six days from now. So please go ahead and enter that. Um, what you will win in that contest is you will win all of the figures seen in that video with the exception of the Build-A-Figure. So, you know, you're gonna get Riri Williams, you're gonna get Holographic Iron Man, you're gonna get Stealth Iron Man, you're gonna get the Vault Guardsman, you're gonna get that new Ultron. Um, what's her name, Dark Star? Dark something, I don't know. But you'll get that figure too. Um, and I'm also going to throw some other stuff in there. Uh, I can't tell you what that is because honestly, I have no idea. It's going to be kind of a spur of the moment thing, but it's definitely going to be some cool stuff. And it's just going to be to say thank you to you guys for watching the videos. So if you haven't entered that already, go ahead and enter the contest. And thanks for watching this video. We are going to see you on the next one. Oh, my God.